All right, so apparently yesterday there was an update for CSGO and also CS2. But the most important thing was an update for the case drops. Apparently players now get a weapon case with their first weekly XP rank up rather than some amount of idle playtime. Which honestly is kind of massive because you're guaranteed to get a case. Because sometimes you play for like, I don't know, the 10 games and you still didn't get a case drop. So that's pretty cool, right? And with this update, the case prices have went pretty high as well. As you can see, the top page is basically fully filled with cases. But before we continue, this video is sponsored by Clash.gg, a website that offers many different game modes, has free daily rewards, and many more. There are many ways you can cash out on deposit. By using code PROP, you will receive rakeback awards and 5% deposit bonus. The links will be in the description below. And if we click on, for example, on our Dreams and Nightmares case, you can see like a big spike here. It's not like too crazy, but from what I know, it's like 10 to 15% increase on all the cases. Honestly, I have no idea why they increase. Yeah, look at Fracture, for example, went from 64 cents to 75, and now it kind of slowed down a little bit. But honestly, I have no idea why it went up in price because it kind of doesn't make any sense right you're now guaranteed to get a case you know when you will get the case although in a way maybe it does make sense because sometimes you like turn on csgo you play one game you instantly get a case job but for very like rare or normal occasions i would say you probably have to play more more cs to get a case rather than just like um get the xp rank up but let me know if you think this is a good change for csgo i personally think it's a it's a really nice change because now i can just go on like my all the other accounts i have and uh, get my guaranteed case job for example, when a new case drops, you just get a XP rank up and boom, you, you know when you get it. You don't have to like idle for three hours hoping to get a case. How will this impact LeBron's legacy? I have no idea, honestly. But if you're invested in cases, I don't know, maybe it's a good time to sell a couple of them and then buy them back later, potentially. And obviously there was some other updates here as well. Apparently when it comes to CS2, Valve decided to give out more uh, limited beta keys to people. And um, yeah, so go check out your CSGO. I think the way you know how you got the key is by opening CSGO and then it's just gonna like pop up on the main screen that you get an access. I tried it out on five different accounts that I have. I didn't get it on a single one, sadly, but maybe for one of you, you got it. So go check out your CSGO and your alt accounts and all the other stuff. And yeah, there's some like small changes for Mirage and some uh, weapon changes as well. But I mean, it doesn't really matter, bro. Right? I mean, we're here for the cases, dude, for the cases and CS2 hype. Yeah, let me know what you think about um, the case update. I personally think it's pretty cool, man.